Why did you move to the US and why ATL specifically? Common question. Very common question. Mm -hmm. Do you ever go to church? <laughs> I've not heard you speak about God and church. Okay. Is the rent cheaper here in the US compared to London? Uh, good question. Let's just wait for daddy, then we can start the vlog. Yeah. Can you say, hey, C fam? <laughs> hey, C fam. <laughs> hey, C fam, and welcome back to another video. I'm Winston. I'm Mayfair. This is Malaika. I'm Malaika. And together we are the Clemens family. The Clemens family. <laughs> <laughs> this intro has been a shambles, but um. Yeah, for the high five. <laughs> <She did. laughs> Good job. Anyway, hey guys. Start of another vlog. Yes. It's pretty much just gonna be. You know what? Let's just go find out. We've got like a mini Q and A that we want to do as well in this oh, vlog. Oh yes, yes. So um, we'll answer some of your questions that we've seen on previous videos. Yeah, mainly about the move. But yeah, we're gonna head out because it's getting a little bit late now, and we need to do some grocery shopping. So we'll take you guys along with us. I know you want to get some fresh air too. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Trader Joe's so I thought you guys seemed to like it last time so I'm gonna do a little haul one thing I have been doing is basically planning out our meals in advance for the week and then I put it on the let me show you guys how I put it this is from last week I just got these from Amazon um, but yeah basically I'll write down like on the fridge like what meal we're having I just find one it makes me way more likely to actually like follow through with cooking those foods if it's on the menu if it's like written down like on a menu rather than if it's just in my phone I do write it down like in my phone first to just plan so what I do is I can actually like I'll put this up like on the screen as a screenshot but basically I write down what we already have in the fridge or if it's like rice or whatever so then it helps me to build meals based off of that which kind of reduce waste and what I usually do on a Sunday as well is anything i leave that day free in terms of menu planning and then anything that we haven't used during the week i'll try and just make a meal on sunday or saturday that uses those ingredients otherwise i feel like you just get so much waste or if it's like greens and stuff i can freeze them in advance and the other thing that i've been doing is i guess like kind of like cycle syncing my meals well all of our meals <laughs> which is basically like based off of where i'm at in my cycle i'll kind of like alternate the um the foods that we eat nothing like too crazy and not like the whole nine um but just a couple of things so for example i'm about to be in my the luteal phase of my cycle which is like the later half of your cycle just before your period starts i'm kind of like incorporating like more whole foods whereas like last week 
um, and when I'm ovulating like I try and like have like just lighter foods because my body can take it and like beef like things that just have a lot of like nutrients and magnesium things like that definitely not an expert but there's a book that I read called In the Flow by Elisa Vitti which I would highly recommend changed my life but anyway let's get on with this haul got some bananas these are just nice to stack on and good for Malika as well some cherry tomatoes i pretty much use these in most of my meals these are yeah they're like mixed this this stuff is from trader joe's got some tender stem broccoli which is always good got a couple of peppers red and green i don't know why red and green are like the only peppers that i like i don't really like yellow ones and orange ones got some limes got some of these uh like seaweed snack thingies which i'm gonna make with like a kind of like salmon bowl during the week got some salmon as always if you watched last week it's always it's always on my shopping list whatever time it is we've got some steak got some do you know what i actually thought this was coriander um but it's it's parsley um but i think it should work uh got some spring onions got some harissa sauce which this is like a hot sauce and i've never used it before but there's a recipe that i really want to try this girl on youtube her name is tish wonders and she's got like a salmon bowl recipe that i've been meaning to try for ages and she put some harissa in it so yep i uh, got some garlic paste uh that was from whole foods actually some paprika some garlic some eggs some of our favorite wine and some organic seeded bread this bread is just so good um and then we got some stuff from the deli from whole foods uh i have a confession about the whole foods deli basically it only charged us two dollars and like we have like this whole box of like food so it's definitely not worth two dollars it's like fifteen dollars and by the time i realized like we'd already like checked up and then i realized afterwards like oh wait like i feel like she checked us out wrong so what what would you do would you go back would you just keep it and take it as like god blessing you i personally didn't go back but i kind of felt a little bit guilty but anyway that's all the stuff that we got from shopping yeah this is also how the kitchen is looking at the moment i'm really liking it uh like especially beef shells i wasn't sure what to do but i ended up just putting the salt and pepper shakers here that we got and then this i forget what it's called but basically ground spices and then a little plant there and this is how the rest of the kitchen is looking so yeah i'm liking it like it's it's getting there the lounge still has like the longest way to go but we just want to do that slowly <laughs>
get down to business. Yeah, so we're uh, answering a couple of questions that you guys had. Yes, there was, well, there's been loads of questions on all of our videos because mm -hmm. we get quite a few comments. So we just tried to pick out some of the more Common ones. popular recurring questions that we could see. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to try and go through them quickly. Yes. If Malika lets us. <laughs> So let's jump straight in. Okay, so question number one is, why did you move to the US and why ATL specifically? Common question. Very common question. And should I start? Mm -hmm. So I guess the move to the US has been something that we've talked about for a while. So Yeah, like since before we got married. Yeah, and if you're like an OG follower of the Clements, mm -hmm. you probably heard us mention it quite a few times over the last couple of years mm -hmm. so <clears throat> initially we were supposed to move to New York after we got married yeah but then a couple of big things happened one being a pandemic mm -hmm. another one being a baby, a baby. <laughs> and so when we kind of re-evaluated that decision mm -hmm. we decided that ATL would be a better location for us yeah because it's more of a family friendly environment mm -hmm. better weather yeah and also it kind of lines up with the kinds of opportunities we're looking to make the most of Yeah, and I think time. because of the pandemic, a lot of people were kind of like moving out of New York and into surrounding areas anyway, because people kind of saw that you didn't have to be in like a, a huge city to kind yeah. of achieve some of the things you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And so I guess in terms of like how we came over, it was mostly for my speaking. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so through my speaking, I was able to apply for a talent visa, which was approved, yeah. and and then also ATL being like the home of like entertainment, mm -hmm. it really lines up well with what we do on social media, with YouTube. Yeah, we've done bits of TV work in the UK. We hope to do a lot more. Yeah. So yeah, it just made sense on many levels. But in, I guess the the thing that ticked the box for us in terms of the paperwork was the speaking work that I did. Yeah, 100%. And I think there's an element of it that's kind of like intangible. We've just felt that America's where God has called us to without like any like firm reasons. And then it's only over time that it's been like, oh, okay, like this might be why. And yeah. this, might, this is why it might be good. Yes. And yeah, and Atlanta is a great place, you know, like we shared, even when we had Ashley over. The cost of living compared to other larger cities like a Boston, California, New York, yeah. it's so much less here. Mm -hmm. You know, she shares some great reasons why Atlanta is a really good spot to be at. And yeah, all of those exactly. reasons were resonating with us as well. Yes. Okay. So. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. um, I'll let you lead on this one. I'll ask a question. Mm -hmm. Do you ever go to church? <laughs> I've not heard you speak about God and church. Okay. Um, yes, we do go to church. I think obviously we've just moved, so um, we haven't yet like found our church family here in Atlanta. But when we were in London, we did have a church that we really considered to be our church family and we're really hoping to find the same here in ATL. Just kind of figuring things out in terms of transport and also like kind of getting settled in. But yeah, like we are Christians, like God is a, a really big part of who we are and what we do. Um, but I guess kind of like on that point, like of course we hope to inspire people through our faith, but what we really believe is that, and you know, we do our own personal devotion time and you know, spend time with God and you know, that shapes how we do things as a family. But what yeah. we, we really hope is that by people like kind of viewing our YouTube channel, they can tell that we know Christ by our spirit. Mm -hmm. Like in the word it says, and they shall know you're my disciples by the way that you love one another. So we hope that just in our conduct with one another, hopefully if we ever run into you guys, that's felt. So yeah, and I, get, I think also it's really important that we get our standard of Christianity from the word and not YouTubers or us because we're all flawed like we we try our best to do devotional share some of those things where we can um other things i think you know are personal to us but yeah so long story short yes we are christians we do go to church but as we've just moved we're still kind of trying to find a church family that really fits just feels like home and where we feel god is asking mm -hmm. us to settle yeah and we've had a couple of recommendations which i think we're yes. going to be checking out in the next few weeks mm -hmm. and yeah i agree with everything you said there we go 
Right, next question. Okay. Should I read it out? Okay, yeah. Okay, what's your mode of transport on this side? Are you shipping your car or getting a new car? Was hoping to see how you're getting around in ATL. It's a good question. <coughs> yes, um, so mode of transport. So again, if you followed us for a while, you know that I did most of the driving in the UK when we had yes. the car and you know, over there I have my my customized car, my adapted car. Hey everyone, so I'm just gonna quickly talk you through the car. It's actually not as complicated as it seems. But it didn't really make sense to ship that over and anyway that was a leased car. Mm -hmm. So the plan is for us to get another car for me. So I'm gonna I'm looking into how to you know, procure a vehicle that is customized mm -hmm. in the US and it's a whole different process there which I'm still working out but that is the eventual goal. Yeah. To get back to to drive in. But in the meantime we've been really blessed because you've been able to borrow a car from a family member mm -hmm. that we, we know over here. So Yeah, which is helpful for just like kind of doing like grocery runs and um, things like that. Hey, yes. What's so, up? Excuse me. Yes, so we do have a car, but the goal is to get a car that I can drive as well. Um, yes, because I'm not the most confident driver. I ain't gonna lie about that, especially not in a new place. Getting used to driving on drive. the other side of the road, mm -hmm. which has been interesting for you. Yes, um, and also like, yeah, so I guess we tend to walk places where we can. Um, and we can also take Ubers as well, like we just get um, a large Uber that yeah, fits. True. I like his buggy and Winston's chair and that, that works when we need to go further out all together. Yeah, and we're going to try out the metro as well. Yes. Which Next I believe is accessible, so that could also be another good option for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shall I ask you this one? Yes, sure. Congratulations on your big move to the US. Did you keep any items from your old house? Um, so, no, we, we didn't really take any... We don't take many items with us to our new place. One, because it's actually really expensive to get stuff shipped over to the US. So when we kind of like worked out the price, it was cheaper to kind of just start again. It makes sense, yeah. Um, and also our place is on, it's an Airbnb now. So it made sense to just kind of like leave that furniture there. Otherwise we'd have to refurnish the place anyway. Yeah, exactly. Excuse me, what do you want to say? Yes, what do you want to say? Do a nap <laughs> okay, cool. We're gonna do a couple more questions and then put my Leica down for a nap. Mm -hmm. Is the rent cheaper here in the US compared to London? Uh, good question. I think, I mean, I don't know the whole of the US, but I do know London is, London's quite an expensive city to live in, so yeah. I would say London is comparable to a New York mm -hmm. or to a Los Angeles. Yeah. <clears throat> And so I guess Atlanta would be considered a little bit cheaper than those places. So I think even with the space that we have here, for the price that we have it, yeah, is a really good deal compared to what you get in London for the same. A hundred percent of money I think for yeah. the size of property. Yeah, and also in London, um, I guess it's cheaper because we don't rent we weren't renting there like we had the house so it's a mortgage which tends yeah. to be a bit cheaper than than rent mm -hmm. um so yeah yeah so overall i'd say london is a little bit more expensive for the size yeah yeah of house. you definitely get more for more more for your dollar here mm -hmm. um at least in atlanta for sure yeah okay cool it's about to say more for your pound it's dollars now hey Hey, hey. One more question. Hey. Last question. Will America be your forever home if things go well? Or do you have plans to return to the UK in the future? <laughs> down for an what do you think? Um, forever home or Hey. She's not so sure. She's not so sure. Sailing in. Um, I mean, yeah, like the plan is like to permanently relocate to the US, but again, you never know where God is calling us to, you never know like how plans can change, but yeah, if things go well, that is the plan.
yeah, we'd like to stay longer. We'd like to hopefully meet as many of you as possible. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like we said, we're not 100% sure why we've been called here. Yeah. Other than like for work reasons. But we think that God is going to use this move for something bigger and beyond anything that we've imagined. So mm -hmm. if that is the case, then I'm sure we'll be sticking around for a little while. Yes. <laughs> all right, see if I <laughs> think that is all that we have the capacity for with yes. this little one. Thank you for sticking with us on this vlog slash Q&A style video. And um, actually, one thing I wanted to mention was this scammer that's oh, been yes. sending messages to people on 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 the YouTube channel. So mm -hmm. if you do see any messages, um, you know, telling you to send money, send money or f contact us on Telegram or some other platform, then that's not us. Yeah, we also have a tick, so we're verified. So that's how you know if it's actually us, you know, messaging yeah. you. Unfortunately, yeah. with YouTube, even when you're verified, people can take a profile picture and and use it but yeah. look out for the little tick next one and that's how you know it's us commenting and we also won't ask you guys for any money or anything like that um if we want you to donate to a course and we'll mention it verbally in a video like this so the battery died and we decided to take a bit of a walk we just got back but i think what i was saying is if you ever get any message telling you to join a platform send money call a number in africa that is not us if you ever get any requests from us, you're going to hear it verbally from my mouth, from Mayfair's mouth, it's behind the camera, maybe even from Malika's mouth. So if you don't hear it from one of us, then it's not us. So have a good week, CFAM. Hope you enjoyed this vlog and we shall see you in another video. Say bye, CFAM. Say bye to them. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.